Hey, attention crypto gossipators, things are about to get interesting. Remember, not financial advice. Hey guys, what is up? Hope everyone is doing well. Hope everyone's having an amazing day because I am as usual. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. So guys, it has been one heck of a week. Okay, we have seen pumps. We have seen a bullish sentiment. We have been given a little preview of what could happen next year and you know i want to wrap this up and explain to you a few things about psychology emotions how people get uh too carried away and what you should do as a as a good investor so you know we are seeing a bone obviously peaking then it would go down but what are the people thinking so the average person um, like myself, or I would say even uh, the more informed person wouldn't really care too much. I mean, this was a nice little uh, dopamine effect, of course, and I know it was great for uh, the channel because, uh, you know, whenever the price goes up, people start becoming a bit more alert, they're a bit more interested, and it brings in all views. All that is great, yeah, but I mean, it doesn't matter that that much. And then, you know, also to do with the price, I mean, okay, great, it went all the way to 0 0.96, but it's not like I was gonna take any action on it. Uh, I'm still holding all my bags, not even one single bone was touched. Um, but after that peak, we saw a little drop. And that, that uh, triggered a lot of people, okay, this, this part. Um, I'm not saying every single one. I mean, I know a lot of you understand how this works, but a lot of people started going, well, what's going on? And they started freaking out. They even started going on forums. I mean, look at this. I'm gonna open up Reddit and someone says, well, and down we go. Can anyone capable of looking up transactions see any reason we're dropping so hard all of a sudden? So, you know, already being described as hard. For them, this drop is hard. You know, going from 0 0.9 to 0 0.8, like it's gonna make any difference. You shouldn't even be touching your bag right now. Um, I mean, it's good to be curious, but let's be honest, this person probably was panicking. Um, and then, you know, we've got comments uh, which are rational because we pumped for a few days in a row, there's gonna be consolidation, okay? That probably is the most reasonable answer to this. Guys, it's normal. You're gonna peak, Okay, it's gonna drop, then it's gonna consolidate, uh, and so on. Yeah, it could reverse, go back up, break some levels, um, hit some some levels. Okay, resistance, support levels. Uh, very exciting stuff for the technical analysis. Okay, this is more for the the technical guys, uh, the ones that make these quick profits, these quick bucks that are going in. Uh, coming out um, on these uh, short-term situations. But realistically, you shouldn't even be looking at the small charts. Guys, the small charts never really uh, bring any uh, good info, okay? You gotta always look at the big chart because the big chart paints a clear picture. It shows you how it's gonna go, okay? Um, and the smaller charts, well, okay, went down, went up, but when we're floating around these type of levels, it really doesn't even matter. Because, you know, you shouldn't be taking profits at uh, 0 0.9 because it's very, very, um, you know, low and it's, it has so much more potential. And the only thing that you could potentially be doing is just going in and loading up your bag. That, yes, because it's still a bargain. It's very, very cheap. That is true, okay? I, I do agree with that and I do acknowledge it. But you're gonna have to realize that uh, this technical analysis is is important, okay? Um, in in the sense that you know you you wake up and you see more or less what what is going um, going on, okay? Uh, but uh, it shouldn't affect you emotionally and psychologically, okay? These dips and everything has a reason. Nothing ever peaks and peaks and goes up and up. It's always gonna uh, drop. So yeah, you can check it out and just learn that when it peaks, it goes down and then it, it, you know, it averages out and then there might be another breakout. But these are very small levels to even take any serious action on when I, when I mean uh, cashing out, you know, selling out. Um, so yeah, guys, I mean, look at this. Uh, someone says, are they going to have to sell a million dollars worth of um, bone just to burn chip? If so, get ready for massive drop. I'm gonna load up around 20. 
0.2226. I doubt it'll ever go that low. Every bottom so far has been the 60 cent range. Um, but yeah, it's true. I mean, we've always floated around this, maybe 0 0.5, 0 0.22. I don't know, it seems very low. If we do uh, end up going there, I'm just gonna be loading up like no tomorrow. And uh, some people, you know, discussing here, um, all that stuff. I've, I was looking at other forums uh, and Twitter accounts, people were uh, kind of, you know, upset. Then when it was good, when it was going up, uh, people were happy, okay? Um, you know, because uh, it gives them this dopamine effect. But the whole point of this video, why I'm even, you know, making it is, uh, just to tell you that, guys, relax, 2024 is coming, we've got big, big things, we've got ShiverSwap 2.0, we've got the massive exchanges listing bone, we've got a uh, big bull run coming in, you know, ETF, uh, Bitcoin ETFs uh, are going to be approved, Bitcoin halving as well, altcoin season, um, what else, uh, big projects coming in and building on Shibarium, so that's big money also, so all this stuff is so, so important, that is what is going to make the big difference. Not your panic, um, you know, you panicking, freaking out. And yeah, uh, right now everybody's talking about the burns and uh, and whether uh, everything's going to be implemented. Well, give them some time. Give the developers some room to actually work on it, to put everything together. It's not going to happen overnight. And once, you know, uh, time passes by, um, you will see uh, a lot of announcements, okay? And things are going to become clear. I know some... Uh, YouTubers out there are fighting a lot, uh, which is crazy for me because, you know, they're holding these bags and then they're going in with all this like crazy FUD and they're getting very upset about it. You know, I'm a massive bone holder uh, myself, okay? I'm, I've always been, you know, my favorite one in in, um, in the ecosystem is bone for sure. And it's it's funny because when Shaito Shikusama said, um, well, actually, it wasn't Shaito Shikusama, it was um, Da Vinci put out this post saying uh, they're going to be burns for bone and, and ship. Well, I got even excited about that because I was thinking, well, great, you know, if they burn bone, uh, taking out circulating supply, less supply, more demand, what's going to happen? The price pushes up. So exciting times. But you know what? Um, it is a situation where uh, we are, you know, understanding uh, that for every uh, statement there is, okay, there's going to be a lot of FUD. There's going to be a lot of like uh, criticism coming out for sure, okay? Uh, but we can't make our final conclusions. We can't say, well, this uh, this whole ecosystem, developers, they, they're they done, it's over, it's the end. Because they still haven't put out all the info. So how can you even be making any massive judgments? You know, think, think it through, okay, guys, uh, please, and be calm. Because this is, going to get, this is going to be a very exciting journey. Um, December is usually a good good month for cryptos, but I think January is going to be some great breakouts happening, uh, especially with Bitcoin. And you saw how we follow Bitcoin, so I hope you know we have a bullish market because we've been in a bearish market. We've gone through a lot, you know, with FTX, uh, Binance, all the scandals happening. Uh, now it's time for some greatness, okay, for, for some good rewards. So guys, turn that notifications bell on, make sure you subscribe, uh, make sure you engage, like, share, all that great stuff really does matter. And as usual, guys, a big thank you to everyone. I appreciate all the support and I'll see you in my next video. Peace out.